We are Karen and Jesus. We are on a five-month journey traveling to different countries. We just left beautiful Mexico City and are now super excited to be living in Brussels, Belgium. We hope you enjoy our content and consider following us so that we can discover new locations, tasty dishes, and amazing adventures side by side. Hello, welcome back to our channel. We're really excited because we're gonna be trying a bunch of snacks from Belgium grocery stores. We actually went to three different grocery stores yesterday and we picked up random stuff that looked good to us. Things that we thought we hadn't seen before, at least in the United States or Mexico. And we're gonna be trying them out and seeing how good they are. Yeah, we have a total of 16 different snacks and we're gonna try each one individually and rate them out of five. So we'll see what the best snack on the table is. Okay, we have our first snack. Um, here's a little close-up. I never seen this before, but we saw this at the grocery store and we're like, okay, this looks good. It's yeah. cold, so we kept it in the fridge. So this to me looks like pudding and cream. And it, it smells like American <laughs> pudding. <laughs> yeah, literally. If you so would have told me this is just like yeah, chocolate pudding. I'm guessing pudding is pudding. Ooh. I get a little bit of the pudding and the cream. I'm gonna try the just the whipped cream. It smells so good. Cheers. Cheers. Cream is really fluffy. Super spongy. Like super airy. The pudding is bomb. Tastes like chocolate pudding. Mm, okay, yeah. This tastes like chocolate, like basic chocolate pudding that you get anywhere. Get some chocolate pudding and put some whipped cream on it. Next. What do you rate it? Uh, from one to five, I would rate it like as a snack, a 4.5, I think. It's pretty good. It's, Me too. Yeah, because it's like the chocolate, it's not too sweet. It's light and it's cold, especially in the hot. Yeah, that was a good yeah, snack. Yeah, it's a really, it it's a really nice snack. Okay, next snack. You've probably seen this before. It's a chip. It's Pringles, but look at the flavor. I don't know if you can see it. And spicy chorizo. So I've never seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that home. either. And Pringles are like our favorite chip yeah. from America. Pringles are so bomb. Yeah, we so. love Pringles, especially like the really spicy and limey flavor. Chip looks like seasoning. Mm, looks it actually pretty cool. smells really good, like the actual chip. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. There's a little like edge full of seasoning there. I'm gonna give that a lick to see. Mm. Yeah, it tastes just like if you guys have ever tried the Mexican Fritos with chorizo. It tastes just like that, but a little bit less of that chorizo flavor just because of the seasoning. There's not that much of it. It's like a little sprinkle on every chip, so it's very light, very crisp. But the chorizo flavor is still there. It's really good. It is good. Spiciness is not that spicy, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's spicy to us. We've had spicier chips, but I say it tastes like sausage to me. It gives me like a sausage flavor, but it's pretty good. Not my favorite Pringles ever, but I really like pretty it. Pretty darn good. I would say four stars. Too. Damn. <laughs> I was like saying mine first, so that doesn't look like I'm copying you. Piña colada drink. I don't think they have alcohol. <laughs> they were just at the grocery store and then did an ideas. Opening is pretty interesting. Let's see if it's good. Oh. What? That. You'll take the first sweet. Okay. Oh, it smells like like Dole Whip ice cream. Damn, that's not like a jet passing by. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's bomb. That's good. Oh shit, it tastes like gum. That's really good. I forgot what they're called, but they're like these little cocktails that they sell like in the beer section at grocery stores. I give it a four. I give it up. I give it a four or five because I like the flavor and it's not very sweet, so it's something that I wouldn't feel too guilty about having one of these with like a meal. Okay, next up we have some waffles. So they look like chocolate covered waffles basically. They are rated an E for health, so maybe don't get these every day. Is there any? I'm expecting them to be bomb. Nice, sugary, give me that punch of sweetness. Oh, they're individually packed. Oh nice, you can toss them in the fridge like that. Oh, they're so cute. Looks like just a little. We did keep it in the fridge, so it's cold. Maybe these would even be bomb in like a toaster. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know if the chocolate would melt. I mean, we're in Belgium. Belgium's known for good waffles. Ooh, so it I'm smells excited. so good. Yeah, it does really smell good. Cheers. 
Ich spreche auch. Hm. I don't know if it's because they put it in the fridge, but it tastes like cake almost. Like. Yeah, the consistency is very like. Like doughy, not like a waffle. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell. Like yeah. it just looks like a little cake. It's very dense. I'm gonna give that um, a 3.5, just because the waffle didn't really taste like waffle. I was expecting more of like a nice crispy, like airy type of waffle texture. I agree with your rating. <laughs> so far, all of these snacks, none of them are too sweet, even though that has a new rating. I was expecting like a snack of sugar, the chocolate to be like really sweet. Next snack, it's, I don't even know what this is. It just looks like little, we did see a bunch of these at all the grocery stores, so that's why we decided to go for it. We thought it might be like a, a more traditional maybe type of snack or something that a lot of people like here. First when we were at the grocery store, I saw like a big, a huge basket full of these and I thought they were like a, like a bath bombs because they were just so many of them when we were at an Aldi. I'm imagining they're like super like marshmallowy or not marshmallowy but like super light almost like an oblea. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're Mexican, you know what an oblea is. This that's, is... that's what I imagine that's gonna be know. like. Oh, there's something inside. Oh, now I'm really excited for you this. You can kind of see it. And they're different colors. I got a blue green. Oh, I got yellow, yellow. Yellow, orange. Maybe. I wonder if it's in there. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like paper. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> okay, that's really interesting. It's literally the coating is like an oblea. Basically same texture, same flavor. Two overlaps put together, but inside. Let me see if it's the same flavor for this. I feel like nerds or something. A flavor of like nerds, it's inside, sour. Inside it's like, like a spicy, not spicy, sorry. It's a sour candy powder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Blended nerds, I think that's what it was taste yeah. like, right? Yeah, blended it's up like nerds. nerds. It's not the texture of nerds, but like the powder. That's really cool. I like that. I like that cake when you bite through the. You know what? I wonder if people just um, mm, if you're I supposed to just let it melt in your the mouth. The pink one's really sour. Or the one I just had was really sour. I give it a four. Five. I give it a four. Just because I mean the last pretty plain. Nothing special about that. But I really like the sour punch. Next up, some marzipan. We were like in the store debating: is marzipan masapan? Like, is that? We weren't sure. Thing. We were, yeah. So. This is made out of like 51% almonds. So I'm guessing that Mexican mazapan that we're used to is kind of similar, but made out of peanuts. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna smell it. Smells like butter. I'm not sure how people usually eat this. What if it's like butter? Imagine <laughs> if you're supposed to take a little slice and we're all savage. <laughs> Nothing special about it. I'm kind of scared for that. Super basic. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta see Nutri score, so that makes sense. It takes something like something that like a grandpa would enjoy eating. It has no flavor of almonds. The texture is just kind of like like cookie dough without flavor, but it has like a couple of drops of almond extract. I wonder. I'm pretty sure that's how they flavor it. And almond extract could be kind of strong and potent, especially how the way it smells. Yeah. So not my favorite, just because I don't really like almond extract on things. The texture is not that bad. It's kind of cookie doughish. I kind of like the texture, but the taste looks like, why would I pick that up and want to eat that for yeah. that flavor? I give it a two. Yeah, 2.5, just to not be too savage, just because I know grandpa's out there like this. My least favorite so far is this. I, was, I actually had kind of high hopes for this, because I feel like- It could look like it could be really sweet Yeah, it looks good, like it could be but... really tasty, but it has almost no sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Next. So now when I maybe I'll eat that for I don't know maybe that could be your a, healthy candy. It has a healthy candy or something. Next Ooh. snack I'm gonna I want to eat this because I want to throw it back in the fridge but it's just ice cream I think. Probably not the big. Uh, but when I like we bought them at the store I really thought it was gonna come in these like ice cream balls I don't think so but we'll see it's tracciatella which I think it's like chocolate vanilla with chocolate chip and it looks like this so it doesn't come in little balls. <laughs> Ready to attack? Ready. Ooh, okay. It's Ooh. perfect consistency. Yeah, that's like nice and soft. Ooh, smells good. It smells like ice cream. I feel like I'm alone when he's in the bed in the hotel and just... Mm. 
Yeah, it tastes like cheesecake. It tastes like whipped cream. It tastes like um. It, it tastes, tastes like, like milk. Yeah, the vanilla part tastes like cream cheese. I thought this was gonna be the sweetest dessert that we've had, but it's not even that sweet. Mm -hmm. We're probably we're just used to like regular ice creams from back home where they're like packed with sugar. I give it like a three and a half because I've had better ice cream. It's good though. I give it a three just because if I'm having ice cream, I kind of want to get hit with that sugar and that sweetness. I guess if you're like going for a healthier ice cream. And that cream cheese flavor kind of threw me off. I wasn't expecting that. Look at this. They look like normal Doritos, but look at that flavor. It says new, so hopefully. Yeah, what if they're in the US? Yeah. You can try them with us. Let's see. Double pepperoni pizza. Mmm, that sounds bomb. I want some pizza now. And they don't taste different than the nacho cheese ones because they look oh, no. exactly they have like to. it. Oh, you know what? They might taste like the chorizo ones because for the pepperoni flavor, especially double. We got the same freaking flavor. <laughs> we got the same out of all the new flavors that we just discovered. Cheers. Oh, my mouth is watering. It tastes like the Pringle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It tastes? It's good though. Like a Lunchable pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had those pizza Lunchables? Uh-huh. It's just like that sauce that they have with the pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. The sauce. Mm -hmm. With that flavor. Yep. So if you want to if you want to experience these flavors, mm -hmm. just buy regular Doritos and go and dip it in the Lunchable sauce. Well, yeah, you just blew my mind. That's exactly what they taste like. I like them. I mean, they're chips. I'm not lying, I like the nacho cheese better. I'm gonna give this one four stars. Me too, I was gonna say four. This is kind of like the pina colada one. It's exact same brand and everything. It's just kiwi flavor, so. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Well, now that you know the, the drill. <laughs> like it smells really good, like a little perfume. Like if I had a perfume in this flavor, like a little, little kid girl perfume. Yeah. <laughs> like it smells good. Yeah. I'm gonna taste like kiwi. Yeah, it doesn't taste like kiwi, but it tastes like kiwi juice. I've had kiwi juice before, and it has that same mm. flavor. It's less sweet than this one. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah. They're both good. I'm assuming they have the same amount of sugar, but I feel like this has a little bit more flavor. Really? Mm -hmm. We're gonna save the, the rest of these drinks for our dinner tonight. Yeah, that's a good idea. A little granola bar, yeah. if you can call it that. But I would imagine they have this in the U.S., but I, maybe like, since we never really looked for snacks like that, we never maybe. have spotted it. But I would imagine they do. It only has a Nutri Score of C. Okay, it says Nesquik with milk, so that's why it has white mm, on the bottom. That makes sense. It smells good. I'm not lie. It smells like Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, I thought you didn't take it. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't taste like Nesquik. It tastes like anything. Yeah. I kind of get like a hint of honey. That's like a, a one. I'm disappointed because how are you gonna have, maybe it's that whole like less sweet thing. <laughs> maybe it is. It doesn't taste very sweet it or like, like Nesquik. I, guess, I feel like I'm eating like a honey bar. Right? To me, it tastes like honey. I give it a one just because I like the flavor of honey. I like honey. So it tastes kind of like a healthier bar. For our next snack, we have some Pim's Orange Biscuits. When I saw these at the store, they reminded me of that video with uh, Tom Holland and Zendaya where he's eating one of these cookies. It's actually not these, I looked it up right now and they're called like Jaffa Cakes. But it's the same concept, which is a cookie, uh, orange jam, and then covered with chocolate. So I'm gonna assume it's the same flavor, or at least similar. You got a Jaffa Cake? Mm -hmm. Would you like one? Sure. It's uh, like an orange. No. I don't like orange flavored things. <laughs> and he says they're really good. Okay, interesting. Reminds me of like a, a package of Chips Ahoy. I like how you open that. That's cool. The cookie feels very soft. Ooh. And light. It's like nicely made. Oh yeah, it's like spongy. I thought it was gonna be like a hard cookie. I really okay. like their little logo on there. That's nice. It smells freaking bomb. Yeah. It might be, oh my god, it might be like your, that dessert from Mexico, what was it? The little cake. The napolitano. The napolitano, yeah. In you a cookie form? Go ahead and check out our Mexican uh, food mukbang that we filmed a couple weeks ago. But it's hers, 
favorite snack or one of our favorites is basically a little cake with orange flavor and chocolate. And basically this, but in a cake form. Let me cut it open, see if there's so much jam in here. Oh, actually there is. Okay. Oh, Damn, Tom Holland knew what he was talking about. Mm, the chocolate is just so like crispy. Like, mm -hmm. I wonder if it's like it's snappy. Mm -hmm. Like it breaks really easy, mm -hmm. and it's like really thin amount. Mm. And the cookie itself is super soft, so it's like a. These are bomb. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a five. There's not that many. <laughs> I'm gonna make this yeah. five stars. Five. So far, my favorite. We had them in the fish, so they're nice and kind of cold dish, so that's really good. Definitely uh, a must. And the orange, like, it's so good. Yeah, I don't think I would ever get these in the States. Right. But now that when we go back, I'm gonna look for- Like an orange cookie? Like an orange cookie like this, because it's really good. That's mm. really good. Like the chocolate is so good. Favorite snack so far. Mmm, that's bomb. Okay, moving on. I thought you were gonna get another one. I was like, mmm. Yeah, I can't, I got some more snacks. Some more chips, our last bag of chips, sadly. Bolognese, croc, croc, crocky. Tastes like a barbecue chip, but like the flavor of a regular bar barbecue chip is up here and this one's like right here. It's just like a similar flavor I've had before, but. Bolognese? Like chicken bouillon? They're good. The chip itself is good too. Yeah, nothing special. They kind of taste like a basic basic potato chip, almost like with the chicken bouillon, like a maruchan type of seasoning. Like something Maybe. like one of those seasonings that you put in uh, instant soups, that you open the little package and put it in the in the bag ones. I would give this yeah. like a three. I think the other one's start. better. Mm -hmm. From the chips we have so far, I like the chorizo best, pizza second, these last. Just because the seasoning didn't hit the spot for me. I'm gonna rate it a three. They're not bad though. Yeah. Like I would low-key buy them again. They'd be good for your sandwich. <laughs> yeah. But not to kick back the whole bag. Yeah. Next snack is a drink. And this one really scares me. And this is definitely something I feel like they would sell in the US. I, I've never seen it, I don't think. Snickers water or milk. Um, <laughs> they also have like M&M flavor, like peanut M&M flavor. And, and Twix, I believe. Twix. And like a Marsh, something like that, Marsh bar? Mar yeah, a Mars bar maybe? I'm really, yeah, a Mars bar, <laughs> <laughs> a Mars. But I can't open it. Okay, go. I just wanted to see what the color of the... Smell it? Oh, I just like uh, bomb ass. Bomb ass chocolate milk. Mm. And I love chocolate milk. Like if you ever buy like these little containers of chocolate milk at the store, they're so bomb and so satisfying, especially Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has a bomb chocolate milk. Cheers. I'm excited for this. Wow. Ooh. I didn't expect that much peanut flavor in there. Yeah. It tastes like a snicker. I almost a like snicker? A, a snicker? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, I kinda like it. It's good. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like peanut, but the chocolate level wasn't there for me. Like I was expecting but I'm, more, I'm but hey. with the peanut. I give that a three, just because I dropped me on the sweetness. That was like again, I had big hopes for a really sweet treat, and that was two notches down. The caramel I didn't really taste. To me, it kind of tasted more of like a peanut milk with a little bit of sugar and that's dizzle of cacao dizzle. powder. I don't know. Something that's a little bit. I give it a three and a half, just because. For me, it's kind of impractical, like I'm never gonna reach for that, but I was impressed. And I'm gonna use it as my coffee creamer. I'm sad because one, we're on our second to last snack, and two, we're out of salty snacks. And this that, is the third to last. Third to last? Oh, so yeah, third to last. This is next. Looks like a little chocolate bar made with banana milk, or banana. No, it's got a banana stuff, like a banana filling, banana cream or something. This is gonna get extra points because it has a little elephant. Banana cream in there. Ready? Cheers. I really like the chocolate, but not the banana filling. The banana filling tastes like that artificial banana flavor from gums and stuff like that, and it doesn't taste like regular banana. I'm gonna give it a 2.5, just because the banana flavor is not there for me, but the chocolate is really good. Like those 2.5 points are all on the chocolate. 
I'm gonna give it a four because I would, I, like, I would buy it. It's a chocolate bar. I like banana. It doesn't taste like a regular banana, but yeah, it's still it's so, good. And it has so an sweet. elephant. It's so sweet. It gives me like that little neck feeling when it's like something super sweet. Empalagado. Yeah. Next up is some more chocolate. It just says marshmallow on the front, but it looks like a little chocolate bar with marshmallow and then shortbread or something. I'm excited for these. I'm going first. At the same time. That's good. Mmm. That's good. Not super sweet again, but you get a little bit of the marshmallow, a little bit of chocolate. And then that like cookie shortbread kind of evens mm. it out. That is really good. I'm gonna give it a five. What was our other five? Oh, the pancake. I like. Yeah. I give this a four and a half. Those cookies are, are I think, for my five. Okay. Last but not least, our final little snack. So it's a plate. Yeah, let me just take it out before I show you what it is. It's basically like a little, almost, I would say like donut. It's like a little pastry. It might with be like it's strawberry. It might be kind of like a brioche bread. That's the flavor. Brioche, hamburger bun, stuffed with jelly, powder sugar on top. This looks like a like a jelly sandwich. Oh, it smells so good. It smells mm -hmm. like bready, strawberry -y and powder sugar -y. Yes, five stars on my book. I love that it tastes just like a strawberry filled donut. I give it a three and a half. <laughs> it's not bad, but I mean, I, I'm more of a chocolate gal, so it's good though. The jelly's good. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's I like how it's thin all around. Okay, now I'm not gonna eat for the rest of the day because I'm not hungry, <laughs> but um, that was fun. Um, yeah, this is a really fun video. Thank oh you for friend. watching. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Let us know which snack looked the best to y'all. Which one would you try, which one would you not? We hope we didn't get bad snacks. However, if you live in Belgium and you think this is the best selection, we just kind of went to the store and saw whatever looked interesting or something that we hadn't seen before yeah. in America. Hopefully there's at least like one Belgian, typical Belgian snack yeah. in here or else we failed miserably and we have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. bye guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.